Integrating Domains of Experience with Gina Ko and Sandra Collins. Sandra, um, nice to meet you again today. What uh, do you want to talk about? Questioning. Well, I've been processing a lot in the last little while, and I've made a pretty significant decision, which is to pull my retirement ahead. Um, so I don't know what the exact date will be, but at least a year earlier than I had planned. So um, yeah, so let's chat about that a bit. Mm -hmm. Sounds like it's a pretty big decision for you, Sandra. Reflecting meaning. Mm -hmm. It's a big decision and it's impacted by multiple things in my life. So, you know, I've struggled I've struggled in academia as a person with a disability because um, there are just so many things that demand um, intense periods of focus, um, which is really hard when you're trying to navigate a, a lifelong chronic health issue. I mean, I really have worked hard at listening to my body and stopping when I need to, et cetera. But um, I'm also, uh, I see things and I like to get things done and I work hard. And so balancing those two things has been challenging for me and doing that in an environment that's, um, that expects able-bodiedness, I think, um, has also been a challenge for me. Mm -hmm. There's also during this pandemic, sitting a lot, looking at the screen a lot, mm -hmm. maybe that adds to the challenge. Reflecting meaning. Yeah, it certainly has for me. Um, I, I think, you know, we spent all, we spend so much more time on video conferences. And I mean, I did have another sort of substantive health thing this winter, which um, in part came about because of eight hour video conference um, meetings. And yeah, it just, uh, I think that kind of, that has tipped it over a little bit. Um, and I think, and also just realizing that, um, you know, I want to get to retirement and be a healthy person. And I'm not convinced if I keep working that I will be healthy enough to enjoy my retirement. Mm -hmm. Tell me about, um, and you're, you're already starting to, that about this being an informed decision. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about that. Probing. Well, I think I have been really weighing, um, weighing the cost benefit analysis. And when I'm talking about health, I think there's really no benefit to me staying. You know, that's one, that's one area of my life where as I've been looking at it, I think, um, you know, there's a few things that would be good to have some health insurance for, but I can buy health insurance um, because I am in a position economically where I can afford to do that. Um, but from, you know, if we stay on this theme of health for a minute, um, yeah, I just feel like it costs me, it costs me almost every day. And so is it worth it? Um, so from, from the health lens, no, it's not worth it. There's other lenses that have kept me going, um, but the health lens is one that, um, that I need to say, no, it's time to stop. Mm -hmm. To recap here, Sandra, what I'm hearing is that after many years of being in academia and being so invested in, in, in this world, and, and now at a time where you're realizing it's, it's affecting your health, um, in, and as you said, uh, in, in this world, maybe it's not so friendly um, to someone who, who has a disability and to be sitting and to be looking at the screen um, so health is priority right now. Mm -hmm. Summarizing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely, health is really um, one of the factors that's pushing it. And the other factor I think is um, relational, you know? So I talked in earlier um, videos and, and uh, you know, people who are watching uh, videos from ages ago, 
will hear me and not just me talking about life balance and trying to find balance for the things that are important and health is a piece of that but the social piece is another part of that and so um you know I've had moments in my career when I've been able to feel like um my friends and my um, chosen family and my spouse and my biological family were all um, priorities but I feel like generally um, I've struggled with that and I, I feel like there's been um, losses there um, in terms of the social piece of my life. Social connection is, is it really important to you Sandra. Reflecting meaning yeah, it's Tell me really more about that. Probing. Um, I th well, I'm an introvert, so I do really well in an online environment as an academic because um, because I am an introvert and I can work hard and be by myself, and I don't need other people to motivate me. Um, the flip side of that is that um, it still takes a lot of emotional energy, the engagement in academia, and, um, and then I don't have enough emotional energy at the end of the day to feel like I can be really present to my spouse um, and not, not in the way that I would like to be. Um, and not all of the time, obviously, we have great times together. And, um, but I just feel like, uh, yeah, it's, it's time to make that more of a priority. Mm -hmm. And you value your relationship with your spouse, right? Reflecting meaning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that really is a core value for me. And I feel like just so grateful to have had, you know, we're going to have a 25th anniversary. And I've worked for Athabasca the whole time we've been together. So we'll kind of hit 25 years on both at the same time, or I think 25 for Athabasca a year later. So yeah, so it's kind of- Congratulations on this anniversary. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> it'll be next year. But it's kind of, you know, um, makes me think, wow, like for all of these years, we've, we've navigated our life together around this job. Um, and, and a job that hasn't been very easy to, contain um, and I think that's probably true for most academics um, and so I just feel like it's time for us to have time that's not defined by the job. Mm -hmm. What are your plans for post-retirement then? Questioning. Well I think I have to back up so before retirement I will take my last sabbatical um, but that also um, is a freer time when I'm engaged in my own research and writing, but not the other tasks of academia. So, um, so I'm looking forward to just having space to kind of just be um, and not kind of do all of the time mm -hmm. and be in relationship with the people that are important to me. Mm -hmm. what, what is it like to verbalize that now? Have more time to be questioning well it's a pretty new decision so it still feels a little bit unbelievable um you know it's kind of like i'll believe it when i see it i think glow also feels like she'll believe it when she sees it even though we're putting sort of concrete plans in place um so but there's a sense of relief around that and anticipation i think mm -hmm. Sandra, to summarize, I'm hearing that um, this decision was not, uh, I'm just going to do it. It's been a, a lot of kind of thinking around it, time investment, yet you said the pros and cons, right, uh, of having an early retirement. And a part of that is about leaning towards your values of being more connected, having more time with Glow, having more time with other people in your life that are important to you. Um, and then what, what I'm hearing is that there's maybe some mixed feelings about this, some excitement and also some um, wondering about what's next, right? Summarizing. Does that fit for you, Sandra? Checking perceptions. Yeah, I think, I think that's a really good summary because um, you touched on, on values there. And I think 
um, part of part of what this is about is um, uh, is me making choices around. I've made a choice around certain values in my life, um, which were around making a contribution and really pulling forward the EDI, the equity, diversity, and inclusiveness in. Um, both within the university generally, but just more specifically in counseling and in my um, writing and, you know, the creation of this ebook. Um, and um, yet uh, it's that balancing of the meaning in other areas of my life um, and my valuing of myself as an artist, myself as a spouse, myself as a friend, myself as a daughter, um, all those other pieces that um, I think now is just time to shift the perspective and shift the the place where it, not change my values, but shift the values that come to the foreground. Mm -hmm. 